Okay guys, it's Johnny and this is act two. Two, 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 two. <laughs> I guess my mission is like in life lately is to make a huge fool of myself and make everyone that knows me in the scrappy world get a chuckle and a laugh. Yada yada yada. So that is what I'm going to do because when I show you this you if you don't laugh you just don't have a sense of humor okay first of all I wanted to make sure I showed you guys the fabric that um, Chi-Town Tracy I just did a video response for her giveaway for her one year anniversary but in her art attack store I don't even know I'm showing you this and I don't even know if she still has any of this left but she was selling this, um, and it's, I think it's Waylin is the fabric, but don't quote me because they could be wrong. But it's very Tilda inspired. And um, you get fat quarters, three different fat quarters, three different fabrics, and they're gorgeous. I just, I mean, if you love Tilda, these are so Tilda inspired. Beautiful cotton fabric. So that's the first one with the blue checks and the gorgeous pink and reddish pink hearts. And then look at this one. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Just love, love, love. I'm sorry I did not get more because I know I will be using this up. And then last but not least, this beautiful one here with the green with the pink flowers and lots of green. Anyway, that's an Art Attack, Chi-Town Tracy. Okay, I showed you <laughs> the um, flattened out but sewn together version of this um, bug from the Tilda. I think it's a spring book. And um, I turned it inside out. And of course, the legs are like little stumps. And I realized, you know, I had made this 125% of what it was and thought that that's what I'm supposed to do. You can tell that I am a person who uses patterns to cut stuff out and I don't trace well and so now I realize that this isn't going to work although I just might still sew this one anyway just for the heck of it or actually hmm, no it won't fit. So okay so this is the original pattern if you trace it from the book. That's her. And it does tell you to add seam allowance. So actually, this here is your cutting, your sewing line. This dark, dark lines that you would cut out. So you have to add a sewing line. So here it is, messily, of course, messily, messed up. <laughs> so when I cut it out, I'm gonna cut it out larger. And then I guess I will turn it over and on the wrong side I will lightly pencil in this smaller one and then this inside line will be the cutting line and hopefully the feet will come out a little bit bigger this next time. So are you ready? Da 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 da. <laughs> Here she is, my first poor, poor Tilda bug. I'm sorry, honey. It's okay. I love you anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> look at her. Oh my gosh, because I didn't add the seam allowance. And um, so the this, this stuff doesn't, it has little tiny pointy feet and short little arms. And, um, I did not have any of that double-sided iron-on stuff to put on her face, so her face is just um, <laughs> glued on with some uh, the tacky stuff, you know, the stuff you sew with, and she's got a little thing. Well, she also started to have a ubu over here. Sure, you've got glue on her here because trying to stuff the fabric into her arms, I actually made the seam come apart. So, as bad as she is, I am still in love with her because she's my first. Um, and then her antennas, I didn't know how you're supposed to keep her antennas because they just keep flopping over. So I put glue. <laughs> I use my glue gun, so now there's big globs of glue. So somebody tell me how you keep the antenna 
from just, you know, flopping over. But I do have a hint. And I don't know if I'm the first one to suggest this or not, but two things. Now, if you're familiar with fiberfill, it is extremely hard to get into small tight places. And if you try and push it in with a pencil and roll it up in a little ball and push it in, the pencil or the, the eraser end just goes right through it. And first, I, I my son actually thought of both of these things, so I have to give Brian credit. He had said to me after we were all done, he said to me, oh my gosh, why didn't we use cotton balls? Because cotton balls are much more substantial and the eraser part of the pencil probably would not push through them as easily. You can even break a piece of them off and then shove them down inside, which was a genius idea. But then, I love this other idea. Her arms, if you see, are actually stiff now. It was too late to do them exactly right. We just shoved it in. And even um, her legs, if I keep pushing like here, what we did is we put Q-tips inside. If we would have thought of this in the very beginning when we could have surrounded the Q-tips with the fiber fill, it then you just push them down inside and you can actually take your glue gun maybe on the inside and glue the top of your Q-tip to some of the fiber fill in there to keep it down further in your toes. I don't know if that'll work. I do know that the ones that are here in her arms, we actually in the center, in the back, in the center under the wing, we did glue those two Q-tips together inside and then covered it with a little bit of fiber fill. So they are actually in her arms and they're not coming out. It was too late for down here, but I am going to fool around with that next time and see how that works to fill up their feet because it's really hard to get the stuff in their feet. So this is um, Chubbs, my first bug. Chubbs the bug. <laughs> Oh well, hey, I didn't say I was perfect, <laughs> and I don't know why, I mean, I can sew, but this was such a challenge for me, I just, these little tiny little parts, and then doing that tracing stuff, just give me a pattern and tell me where to sew. <laughs> anyway, thank you everyone for watching, um, I know I'm a bit kooky, have a wonderful day, remember no biting, no fighting. Share the love. Give a hug. Be well, everyone. Pinkalicious hugs. Ciao, ciao, ciao.